Player cards are going to be officially introduced into Dead by Daylight soon, and this is going to change the entire landscape, and if you're not hyped for this, you will be after this video. But what exactly are player cards? You may have seen these in other games, specifically in first-person shooters, but these are general cards that take the form of stylistic backgrounds that can appear with or without text in a player's nameplate when the player name is shown in-game. These player cards are often paired with emblems to form a whole of an individual's player card. In other words, this is in a way that an individual player can showcase whatever they really want to feature to the world. This can be some kick-ass challenges that they may have completed, or it could be as simple as your country's flag. Nonetheless, Dead by Daylight actually taking a step to introduce these player cards is gonna be huge, and there's tons of reasons why. Now before we jump on into all the cool things about these player cards, I want to let you guys know that we're gonna be live right now on Twitch.tv slash the king for dead by daylight's biggest community event to date into the fog we'll be live on our own channel and dead by daylight will be broadcasting this as well so hopefully we see you guys there please come on out show your support i need you guys here today we'll be live at 11 a.m eastern standard time aka right now all right let's talk about how these cards can be introduced in my mind i kind of feel that dead by daylight are gonna go in the easy way out which is just introducing these new player cards as a reward in the tome and to me this is a little bit of a cop up because there's so much better ways that they can introduce it and i hope that they go along the route that i'm about to say that route mainly being focused on different challenges and these challenges should have different brackets mastery challenges basic challenges you can even go as far as limited time events or in-game events and of course the tome as well these challenges should be tied into statistics as well tracking some of the things that you can do in the game and then rewarding you with this calling card or player card if you successfully do the challenge itself. In my mind, I can see them having 10 main challenges and in these challenges, it'll be like a folder with hundreds of different challenges. And each of these challenges will have different tiers of the challenge. For example, if you click on the survivor folder, you then have a bunch of different survivor challenges. We can focus on getting flashlight saves and then at different tiers, it'll be get five flashlight saves get 10 flashlight saves, get 50 flashlight saves, and get 100 flashlight saves. Each time you hit one of these, you can get yourself some shards, blood points, or maybe even auric cells. And finally, completing the challenge itself will give you a flashlight player card that you can display and showcase to your friends or randoms in your lobby. This can be stagnant or animated as well to really put some extra personality into these cards. And then for the person that reaches above and beyond, if they manage to complete all of these challenges in survivor bracket in the survivor folder, they will then unlock a mastery calling card that will be like the ultimate card for that specific genre, which would be survivor. Again, tons of games have done this specifically Call of Duty and they've done it so well and this could have a really good lasting impact on the game. And this doesn't need to be themed just around challenges as well. There's a huge avenue of different things that DBD can do in order to introduce these. For example, through specific times and events, you can unlock a specific type of card, and this will be limited to if you're playing at that point in time. We can also have cards for if you're getting into Iridescent Non-Killer or Survivor, and once obtaining this, you'll be able to get one. You can tie these two achievements in the game as well, and every time you unlock an achievement, you get one of those specific calling cards to go along with it. They could even take it a step further where every time you hit Prestige 100, you get a specific calling card for that character itself. And if you really want to go above and beyond, make it so if you get to Prestige 100 on a certain amount of characters, maybe even complete all of them, you get one of those mastery calling cards that we were talking about, or player cards, I should say, that'll showcase something really, really badass. Again, this will be up to the art team, but I think it'll be absolutely amazing, especially for players to show off. I can just see like the equivalent of a legacy type of card that you can obtain if you hit Prestige 100 on every single one of your characters. That would be insane. So why would this change DBD? The short answer is the grind. There will actually be meaningful purpose for you to go ahead and grind through everything. As a veteran player myself, I've been through everything. I've hit red ranks multiple times. I've hit iridescent multiple times. I have legacy. I have twitch charms, fog whisper charms, etc. So playing DBD itself just for blood points doesn't really do it for me. And I'm sure some of you guys might feel the same way, especially if you're getting burnt out because you're playing the same thing over and over with 
the only grind being to get some perks and maybe showcase your prestige to others. With these challenges in mind, you can now showcase a whole different side of things. You can showcase your statistics. You can showcase how much time and effort you've put into DVD itself. And I'll just light that fire amongst people again to really grind everything out and showcase more things, more so than just the rift itself. And as I mentioned, this can be tied to the rift as well. When you get to the highest level in the rift, you can obtain some really cool calling cards for that specific theme. However, on the other hand, I think if it's only featured in the tome, which I have a bad feeling they might end up doing, I don't think it will hit the same and people really wouldn't care too much about them because you'll just earn those with playtime. All in all, having that sense of grind again and showcasing your hard work in another form would go such a long way and I really hope they incorporate it because people will definitely sink some time and effort into getting those cards. And this sets up huge for the future of player cards in DBD. You know, there's tons of things that they could do with this itself. One of the big things that they can do is combining these cards with skins specifically. For example, let's say you're going to the store and you're spending 10 or $15 on a skin. Imagine if it now comes with a card itself. And that can project into tons of different things with new Mori animations. You can also get new themes such as lobby music or even chase music, new Moris as well and maybe even a loading screen to go along with it. I'm rambling on, but the possibilities truly are there and calling cards could be the way that they do this. Overall, I feel that player cards has the potential to change the game forever and reintroduce that grind for tons of people and I hope it's incorporated correctly. It's been something I've been excited for for a very, very long time and I hope DBD does the right thing or at least if they don't initially launch with this coming out with a bunch of challenges in the future, they'll decide to do it. I think it will be a huge stepping stone for them on keeping the longevity of their players entertained as well as getting some pretty cool things to everyone. I think it will help with the longevity of the game itself and rewarding the players to showcase all the cool things they have. And quite frankly, it's just gonna be really cool if you can showcase all of your cool stats. But again, that is gonna do it for me. I hope you guys are excited for these player cards coming into the fog as well. Hopefully we see it on next week's PTP. I'm not sure if it's gonna be ready that quickly, but I'm really hoping that it is. And if so, we'll see how good they've done it. Fingers crossed for everything to be good. And that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. A quick reminder, we are live on Twitch right now as you're watching this, playing Into the Fog with an awesome set of Fog Whispers. So hopefully you guys will be there. I really need your support. So please join the live stream. But that's going to do it for me. As always, I'm the king. I tip my crown to you guys. And we'll see you in the fog.